my name is Nick Williams, I'm the Commercial Director for Burlington Stone and um, this video is hopefully an opportunity for you to understand how we go about extracting some of the most beautiful stone in the world from the hills and mountains of Cumbria and hopefully to lots of fantastic homes and projects all over the world. Our Caulfield limestone is a, a small quarry just uh, near Ulverston and uh, again a very hard English limestone and, um, but, but can produce wonderful results. Uh, the Caulfield is um, a, a more fossil element of the scene um, which will take a flaming process which we've actually demonstrated in this video here. Um, and because we're able to flame it, it means it gives a very good slip resistance. So if you want to use this material in a wet area or externally, it's the sort of thing that you could use with comfort to give a, a beautiful, natural look and finish. My name's Ian Kelly, I'm the quarry manager here at Kirby and Furnace. We're in the west end of the quarry now. Um, as you can see, we've, had, we've been working here. We've used a process called diamond wire sawing, which we use to cut the rock off from the, from the bottom of the floor. It's much more environmentally friendly than blasting it off. Um, when we've done that process, we then use a small black powder charge, which takes the rock off on its natural cleavage and, and through any faults that are found in it. When that process is done, we use the excavator as gently as we possibly can to pull the blocks out. And some of these blocks you can see here, maybe 10 tonnes in weight or, which is approximately 10 times of the average weight of a family car. This, this machine here weighs approximately 50 tonnes. Um, and when it's in the hands of a, a skillful operator, um, that can be handled very gently and the rock can be handled. If we had a smaller machine, it would take a lot more effort. The big machine pulls the big lumps out very gently without damaging them. It just comes down to the skill of the operator. We've got uh, some good lads that have been doing it a long time. Um, some of them it's been passed down through generations, you know, and uh, it's been passed on the skills. Most people get shocked when they come in here at the size of the place and how deep it is, but uh, you do get used to it after a bit, yeah. On a day like this it's fabulous, um, there's, there's probably hundreds of years of work gone into creating what you see here, you know, and um, we're still doing it, we hope it's here for a long time to come, you know, if we can continue doing it like we do, it should be, you know, without wasting any product. The starting point for any client, I think, when making decisions about material is aesthetics. Uh, once they're beyond that and they understand the palette that they're working with, you then have to consider the technical aspects of the stone. Uh, is, it, is it strong enough? Is it durable enough? Uh, will it wear properly? Is it low maintenance? Well, my role is to, um, to communicate with our clients, uh, architects, specifiers of our material, contractors, main contractors, subcontractors, uh, and liaise with them and help them choose, specify and use our materials. Our showroom is very important to, to showcase the choice of materials that we have. For people who can't make it to the showroom, um, because we have clients all around the country and all around the world, uh, we have a range of uh, facilities that they can use, uh, literature, fantastic website, uh, an app. Critically and, and I think uniquely for a stone supplier, uh, we, we demonstrate on the app uh, the, the range of stone that each quarry provides. Whichever one of the stones that you choose from all of our different quarries from all around the, the South Lake District, um, we hope that brings a little bit of a memory from um, the Lake District into your home or wherever the project may be in the world. Um, but all of the stones from those quarries are brought to the site at Kirkby and Furnace where our factory is, 
uh, where our quality control and all our, uh, our process is in place so that the type of um, process you've seen on this video is what you would um, have for every one of the stones that we offer to you. Every customer that comes to Burlington will have gone through a sample selection of our stone. That sample selection is through photographs related to production and from that we know exactly what the customer wants. So we are watching that, monitoring that all the time. Often we have dialogue with the customers, depends what, what job it is, we'll be talking to them directly to make sure we're getting it all right. When an architect or an interior designer or a client chooses the material, um, and certainly if it's again part of our bespoke offer, our draftsman would look at the details on the drawing, would really be looking at to make sure that everything was in accordance, everything works, everything is going to fit together, and would produce a cutting sheet um, which would go through to production, having been checked out, to ensure that, again, every bit of the detail in the process has not been lost in communication from the client's needs and requirements, signed off by the sales team who've been involved with the client, and through to communicate that through to the production team. So hopefully that, that you know, our intention is always to ensure that every element of that, uh, that that has been specified right at the beginning of the process is followed through to the to what's put in the crates and sent to site. We're dealing with something that's 350 million years old. And the challenges obviously are the type of colours in the stone, the inclusions that are there, it goes to the primary stone department, and it cuts put into blocks. Once it's put into blocks, it'll be put on a gang saw, which will make slabs for material. From the slab process, it comes down the production of the secondary production department and in the case of this material it goes to the uh, plant section department they've got claim to finish on it On some jobs, it is, if we're doing a job that's very complicated, it's to a drawing, it may be perhaps the facade of a building, cladding, we'll have a, a numbering process which, the, which where each piece goes to, and it's very, very important the right number goes on the right piece. From order date, or pre-order date, it's Burlington staff are, in the drawing office, are quite flexible. You can pop in and discuss a project. Somebody will run through it with you. You can come with some final drawings. They will look at the drawings. They will assess exactly what you need, the quantity you need, the sizes you need, and the cost of your project. The system is here to prioritise what part of the order you would like first and in what sequence you want the 
particularly different colours of tiles. Um, and the quarry system uh, takes that on board and where's a complicated tiling process, you know, pattern tiling process to, uh, to to be carried out then they have this numbering system so basically you know every time you pick up a tile it is going into the right part of the project it's an absolutely first class system